My name is Elaine Cho. I'm a painter and a visual artist. Painting for me is a form of discovery. Before I became a painter, I worked as a journalist in China. What I like about painting is that it is a language that often bypasses racial or ethnic barriers. Painting provides a way to talk about things that don't lend themselves to words. I've always been interested in things that lie beneath the surface. What happens between the lines? Because most of the time, what is said is never just what is said. Sometimes I'm more interested in the details that have been deleted or omitted from the stories that are told or published. For me, both art and journalism are a discovery process, a continuous journey towards understanding. Both begin with the original idea or the first day story, which is then explored and built over time. It is not about. Pursuing objectivity or defining truth, because even in journalism, objectivity or truth is a complicated and sometimes contradictory phenomenon. To me, the word curtains signifies a sense of closure. It connotes a finality of farewell, the end of an era, or a story that had been told and reached a conclusion. It also contains a feeling of suspension, that the engine of the old life had stopped and the normalcy of life had suspended. My work for the show is about the current pandemic. I've been making work about the outbreak of the virus since February. I grew up in Wuhan, the city where the pandemic first emerged. My parents, relatives, and friends are still living there. There have been endless confusions, conspiracies, and conflicts around the virus from the very beginning. I try to make sense of the experience by working. The work is an investigation, an inquiry into what things are or what I thought they were. So this is piece called Suspension. It is a large painting, six feet by eight feet. I was working on it when the lockdown started. Then I lost access to my studio. I might be able to get back to it, or might not. Just like the rest of us, we had to give up our expectations, schedules, and plans at this time. This is a painting about disruption and how to live on the edge. It has a tumultuous surface, but at a deeper level, things might just quietly unfold as they need to. I deliberately work on small and large pieces simultaneously. The scale of the work is important. When you encounter them in person, it evokes different feelings and emotions in the body. It is a very embodied experience, especially for large paintings. It might help the viewers become aware of how they physically relate to the painting in space. 
when you engage the painting up close, as you get closer and closer, the painting starts to break down and becomes many different images. You start to notice the physicality of the work, the traces that paint left after sanding and erasing, and the drips and the lumps of the paint that deposit organically on the surface. Because I work in layers, so there's a lot of concealing and revealing. I view my paintings as time capsules. The evidence of the time and the struggle invested in the making of the painting can only be revealed by observing it in person. This is a video piece called The Hiding Place. In both Eastern and Western traditions, the hiding place is a sanctuary for refuge, where we can find safety and peace. It is a place to rest our vulnerability and escape the trance of fear. It resonates with what we are going through right now, on a personal level and also collectively. Where is our hiding place? When the things that kept us tethered to our orderly life are suddenly swept away. What do we do when the unprecedented befalls us? This is a series of paintings I've been working on during the quarantine. I borrowed images from pandemics and the disasters that happened in the past, as well as from the latest news. And I kept the images half hidden. I try to understand what it means to be human. In the midst of these calamities, what did we learn, and how do we live forwards? Between the tidal curtains and our current situation, there's a shared sense of uncertainty. We don't know what's behind the curtains.